Hey guys, and welcome back to Native Eats. Today is a really, really cool show because I am making, legally, by the way, I am legal, I'm making THC oil. There really is a million things you can do with this. So let's just get busy. This oil is a pure THC oil that only has two ingredients. It's a coconut oil base. I make it with duff. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our duff and this process is really easy to get started. You're gonna crank your oven on low and you're gonna put it at, I'm gonna go 220. Make sure my racks are kind of like even. You don't have to preheat the oven for this. You're trying to dehydrate your duck. So you're gonna put it in the oven at 220. And so you're gonna put it in the oven at 220. You're gonna leave it in there for a couple hours. It's really just dehydrating right now, so a really low setting is good. We're gonna leave it for a few hours today and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to put the rest of this together. So we'll see you when we come back when this is all dehydrated. Hey guys. All right, so now that we've dehydrated the duff for a couple of hours, I actually wanna fill you in that I lowered the oven only because I left, so I dropped it down to 200. I did that because I was leaving and I didn't want the duff to catch on fire in the oven, so I took it down to 200. The tools you will need for this recipe is cheesecloth, some kind of like scraper, your pot. I use kind of a kind of a crappy one because it's something that I make the, this medicine with, this oil with, this cooking oil. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your duff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank up this burner. We're gonna get the oil into the burner Okay, so now that we have the duff out, I encourage you to make a nice big batch because it takes hours to make this. So make a big batch. And really, we're gonna let this go overnight. So get all your wonderful organic coconut oil, get it going. The idea is that you initially want to fry this. So get it up to a good, you know, fry temp. It's gonna sit overnight. I have it on high heat right now, just for a second. Okay. And so, yeah, this, this should get a little hotter. We'll let this get hot. It's already becoming clear. You can go ahead and turn your oven off because you don't need that anymore for this process. Go ahead and turn your timer on. Give it like eight minutes to come up to a good, like sort of like temperature, hot temperature to get this in initially. And we'll be right back see that happen. So we've been letting this coconut oil get to a nice hot temp um, for about eight minutes. It's really good with any herb to blossom it. The point in this is that you want to, just to get them going. And in this case, you definitely want to blossom this. We're blossoming it. We're gonna extract all of the good stuff. And you know what's so great about this? You can actually use this over and over and over again. Isn't that incredible? After this process, you don't have to throw this away after we extract it. You can keep it and do it again. It just keeps giving back. It's a wonderful thing. All right, so it is quite hot, but do you see? It's frying. And at this point, lose the scraper. Because you don't want to really fry silicone too much. So at this point, it's in there and you know, it's frying a minute. I would let it fry like this for about a minute. And then we're gonna turn it down all the way to low and we're gonna let it sit and steep overnight. Tomorrow, we will extract this. Be prepared with your cheesecloth and you need a really nice jar that you're going to put this in. Get a nice jar that you can put your medicine in or your oil. Get a good lid. This is the right one, this is a good lid. It's been probably about a minute that this is frying and I'm gonna use a small wooden spoon. That's good. Go ahead, turn it all the way down. You do not really need to cook this anymore. Let it steep. You can go with a lid. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it open. If you go with a lid, you need to be really careful that you don't get too much water condensation inside the oil. And we're gonna see you back here tomorrow to extract this out. Hey guys, good morning. 
The last time I left you guys with the THC oil, we left it overnight to steep on low. So let's get started. You're gonna get some cheesecloth. We're just gonna strain this right into another pot. Yeah. To make life easier. This will just sort of guide it all into this pot. This way I don't have to worry about pouring this strategically. I can just sort of like pour it. I'm gonna cut this cheesecloth. I'm gonna give myself a decent amount because in the end, we're gonna press this. Give yourself about a foot and a half or so and leave it folded in half. Lay it right over this strainer. And we're gonna take our oil that we've been steeping, that we dehydrated, and we're just going to, and it's been steeping in the, um, in the olive oil, or in the um, coconut oil. It is a little splashy. Look at that oil. And you do wanna get that out. You don't wanna leave that in because that's what we're gonna press. Shaken adult syndrome. That's got a lot of really good stuff in it. So we're just gonna get all this out. And this is what I was explaining to you, that you guys can save this. Okay, you're done with the burnout. Turn that off. Get your lovely goodie basket here. Always good to give it a good, you know, like a spin. As tight as you can get it. You can be a little more effective by probably splitting this up, but for the purposes of this video, normally I'm getting, we would prep, we would sit and press this give it time to sit like this and just continue to drain. I want to take a moment to pour some of this, but in actuality, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a little while. But for the video, let's go ahead and show you guys what this finished product looks like. I'm just going to set this over here for a second, and I want to show you guys this oil. You could use a funnel for this if you want to make sure that you don't spill any. This is it. This is your um, your THC oil. I'll show you how to use this oil if you want to cook with it. I'll make some, some cookies, some brownies. Don't forget guys to like, subscribe, and comment. Like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you guys for coming today and I'll see you guys next time. Even though we're not really set up to film <laughs> when, and everything, but I just had to show you this. Look at that, that's been sitting for an hour. I'll just pour it, you know. This is so potent. You know, it looks so, so potent and strong. And it is, it is. The beauty of this being potent is that you can always add more to this, but you can't take away. You know, the, the idea is to make it nice and strong so then you can moderate it out how you wanna medicate. I'm glad we came back to show you how much oil that made and we'll see you guys next time. I'm the hat monster.